Have you ever had a moment in your life where you look back and you're like, how in the world did I get here? So right now you guys can see uh, I am not in Texas. Um, I am in Phoenix. Just finished up a real estate conference called Raise Fest. And it's crazy because a year ago, I helped build this event. Um, Hunter Thompson, good friends uh, that I met through Inner Circle, um, he was starting the event. Uh, I helped him build it, I emceed it, I helped run sales, uh, and we absolutely knocked it out of the park last year. And it was the biggest event to date that I had done. Um, it was, we had 1,200 people register for it. I think we had about 950 show up. Um, it was an absolutely wonderful event. Um, we sold more than $2 million from stage. It was great. And I was like, sweet, like I am on the track. I see where I'm going, like the events thing, I'm finally getting bigger, I'm getting bigger shows, I'm getting on bigger stages. And something really interesting happened. I got a chance to work with Nate Armstrong. I've been doing Nate's events, um, which were virtual events. We hadn't done a live event yet. And we were doing like three to 500 virtually online. Um, and Nate made me an offer to come on his team. And at first I said no, and I said, you know, in order to do that, we would have to actually partner, um, you would have to buy my business. And they came back with that offer while I was at RaiseFest. So RaiseFest is all about how to raise capital for real estate ventures, how to buy apartment buildings. Um, and it's, it's completely outside of what I do or my comfort zone at the time. And uh, I had some, Back in the early 2000s, I had some experience with real estate. Um, I bought some uh, and I had sold it all in 2005 um, because I had just gotten really burned out on it. So I had a little bit of experience, but like now I'm like, I'm headed in this direction, things are going really good. But I got like tapped on the shoulder a couple different times at the event and I really felt like if I wanted to get off the hamster wheel of work, 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 get a big check work, 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 get a check. If I really wanted to build something long-term, the real estate was going to be a good way to do it. I thought Nate was a great partner. I thought Nate and I values were very much in alignment. Um, both Christians, both really wanted to help people, um, both really led with our hearts. I thought, you know, if, if there's ever a time, this is gonna be it. So I leaped in faith. I took the first step forward, which was really shaky. I started shutting my business down. Um, I refunded a client. Uh, there were two clients that I agreed to. I was supposed to do their event over and over and over and over. Instead, I just did one event for them. Um, and I pulled out of all my events. I shut down my events business and true to his word, Nate bought my business and I became partners with Nate. That was a year ago. Right now, I'm at Raise Fest 2024 and what a year this has been. Um, it has not been comfortable at all. I've been, uh, I've been uncomfortable several times, like leaning in and sitting with being uncomfortable in order to learn the skills, in order to learn about real estate, in order to learn about what is going on uh, in that world and how to move through it. Sitting down negotiating real estate deals for six, eight, 12 million dollars, uh, raising capital. Um, this year, our goal coming out of the gate uh, was to raise 25 million in capital. We raised over 30 last year. Uh, we're at like 32 to date uh, from Raise Fest to Raise Fest, which is pretty cool. Um, but sitting down and at first, like working with those kind of numbers and asking people to invest was really nerve wracking. I didn't know the landscape. I didn't know how to do it. Um, and honestly, I felt uncomfortable. But like learning to sit with that, right? There's nothing wrong with feeling uncomfortable. Uh, if we run away from being uncomfortable, if we run the other direction because of it, that's where it causes problems. But just learning to sit with being uncomfortable, I feel like so many people lack that skill. That's what stops them. But the thing is, like, I teach this all the time, right? We're, we have our little comfort zone bubble, but getting outside of it requires us to be uncomfortable and it's not going to stop being uncomfortable. You have to sit there for a while until it becomes normal. So it, this year, looking back, uh, being here at Raise Fest, meeting a lot of people that saw me on stage last year, asking how my year was, talking through that with them has been absolutely phenomenal. Sarah! Um, so you guys might recognize this lady right here. Say hi, Sarah. Hello! That is Sarah Morrison. She was one of my first coaches inside of 2CCX all those years ago. 
Um, but absolutely wonderful person who helped me back then. And uh, it's really cool to talk about our journeys. Um, to CCX, there were about 400 of us in to CCX back in 2017. Um, about 20% because it's always that 80-20 split have stuck with it and it's really cool to see them growing their business um, and talking to Sarah and NJ. Anyway, um, that is my update. The lesson for the week is that you just have to lean in and be uncomfortable. Um, you have to deal with difficult situations in order to grow, um, but it leads to great things like this. Looking forward to seeing you guys all next week.